Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about data types and variables in Java. So if you are facing visibility problem in this video, you can improve the pixel quality by going into the setting option. So uh, if you have done uh, this, you can uh, note down these information. Uh, these information will be uh, useful for your study and placement purposes. Now coming on to the data types. Uh, there are several primitive data types available in Java. Primitive means predefined. So uh, in first column types are available, then size in bits, then values and then standard. So first is Boolean. Boolean is uh, available in Java. It is not available in C and C++. It occupies one bit and it can store true or false. Second is char, uh, size 16 bits and it can store uh, 0 to 65535. It follows ISO uh, Unicode's character set. Then byte, it is uh, also new in Java. Uh, it occupies 8 bits, uh, range is written here. Then short, 16 bit size, its range is also written here. Then int, it occupies 32 bits, its range is also available here. Then long, it occupies 64 bits and its range is also available. So byte, short, int and long. All these uh, data types uh, will create variables which can store numerical values of integer type. Then float, it occupies 32 bits, its range. Then double, it occupies 64 bits and its range. So float and double can store values which uh, has decimal point uh, within, uh, within them. So uh, boolean, byte and short, these are new in Java and rest uh, data types are also available in uh, C and C++. So you can use these data types to create variables uh, for uh, calculation purposes. Now coming on to the variables, a variable is a data member which is used to store the values in Java program. A variable name can be declared using a type and followed by a optional variable name. So there are some rules to declare variable name. Variable name can be start with an alphabet underscore or dollar sign. The rest of an identifier can include digits also. So here a dollar is additional uh, in C and C++ we can only use alphabet and under underscore to start variable name. But in Java you can also use dollar. Operators and spaces are not allowed and we cannot use keywords or reserve words in variable name. So these are some examples, uh, these are valid examples of variables and variable names are case sensitive. Case sensitive means uppercase and lowercase letters are treated differently. Though C, C++ and Java, all these languages are case sensitive. So we have to uh, take care about uh, case sensitive nature while declaring variables. Uh, thank you for watching this video.